Hi, I'm Hao, your speaker today. As we know, we know uh, the internet has become one of our essentials in our lives, especially when Have you ever faced a spotty internet connection? Doesn't it annoy you a lot, especially when you are trying to be engaged in an online class or a virtual online meeting? Imagine if you are sitting in front of your laptop all the time during the class and suddenly your internet connection is slow. Then you miss the most important point in the chapter. Wouldn't it be the burden to you to catch up on the things you, that you have missed? What if it does not only happen once, but in every class? Um, time to ask, um, what is the problem that you face when you're using internet and how you solve it? What the problem using your internet? Ah, yes. Okay, I don't know lah. When you ask, uh, what, what I, I don't have any problem using yes, the UDM internet. <laughs> because in UDM digital, the internet very fast. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, depend the college college. Uh, uh, yang very very far from the uh, UTM digital, of course, they have uh, the face, uh, the network, uh, slow and so on. Uh, why? Because the our, I mean, on the area, because we have a big area. Our access point uh, cannot uh, cover all of the area. Example, when you uh, stay in hostel, have a five on um, the level so what uh certain level you must have about on the over five access point to cover all area but when utm using many of access point so yes. somehow you can affect our health masalah kesihatan so that's why uh, uh, Malaysia have a policy about certain certain area location maximum for the access point a certain certain uh, numbers. Today in UTM we have one thousand eight hundred access point in UTM, but that's not enough. Uh, some of the issue is the some of the area cannot on the cover. Same area of course. Boleh cover dan sebagainya But the many of the far-far area in UTM We cannot cover Our wife cannot cover From the interview session with the UTM's network administrator We found out that the connection depends on the proximity of the rotor and the receiver We can say that the position of a rotor in a house Affects the speed of the connection in the entire house When a user access the internet from the furthest room, he or she will experience spotty connection most of the time. Also, the walls and the furniture had as barriers that hinder a fast Wi-Fi connection. Microwaves from the Wi-Fi electromagnetic radiation do make it all the way through and continue onto the device. But the barrier has stolen or redirected a lot of energy along the way. As a result, the internet connection will be slower compared to an empty house. As a solution for this matter, my group has come up with one idea. We introduce to you the white tender. It stands for Wi-Fi extender, but we make it shorter, so white tender it is. Anyways, it can be used to extend the range of your Wi-Fi or to boost the signal strength. The extender is built from a reflecting material in a parabolic shape so that we can gain an optimal extension directly to the focal point. 
This is how the prototype had been done. few moments later In order to give you a better understanding of our project, we have provided data comparing the signal strength with and without the extender. With that being shown, it is proven that white tender helps a lot in improving the signal strength. However, the white tender does have flaws too. It is created so that it can reflect the radio waves in only one direction. This means that the Wi-Fi strength will only be stronger in one direction, but not on the opposite side. We believe that the Wi tender is suitable for those with a rotor located at the corner of the house. If the solution don't work effectively on you, don't worry, we got another solution to make your Wi-Fi signal boosted and even more faster. That is by changing and using an uncongested wireless channel. We will show you about the steps on changing your wireless channel on your PC. Hey guys, this video I will be showing you how to change your wireless router channel on a Windows PC. First, go to Start and type in CMD. Run it and type in IP config. Press Enter. Now first. The computer you're using right here has to be connected to the router already, either you have wire connected or, or wireless connected. Just, just to make sure that your computer is connected to the router. Now scroll down to the default gateway and you are going to remember these numbers. Those numbers are gonna be different depends on the brand of your router. So mine is this and just go over to the web browser and type in that type in these numbers in here. Press enter and here is depend on your brand of the router you will need to log in first and find wireless because you can change your wireless channel somewhere in wireless session so here's my wireless session click it and then here you can change our channel here and you can see my channel is one to see what channel you need to change, you can download the app called Wi-Fi Analyzer on your phone to see which channel is the least congested channel. For me, the channel 1 is the least congested channel, so I change, I change it to 1. And just click Save to apply the changes of the router. So that's it. Thanks for watching the video. Okay, lastly, I want to talk about the signal of the Wi-Fi can be easily boosted by applying those methods we provided and there are actually many more methods too like upgrading your router firmware and adjusting your router antenna by doing this you can definitely have your online class happily yeah happily yeah i mean there are no more interruptions during your online class session thank you for watching